hey guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video i will be customizing my windows to use tiling window manager so tiling window manager is quite popular uh, for the linux user so they use a lot because it improves the overall productivity okay so uh, i use arch linux with hyperland as my uh, uh, tiling window manager now i wanted to see how's the experience of using a tiling window manager on windows so I got to know about a tool called Glaze WM. So it is a window tiling manager that's uh, that is compatible or supports the Windows uh, system. So let me share my screen and then I think we can start. So this is the GitHub repository. OK, so this is the GitHub repository for Glaze window manager, Glaze WM. So they have a small uh, kind of a demo here to how the window managers looks okay so right now uh, we can install it using winget chocolatey and scoop so let me try installing it using a winget uh, cli so let me open my terminal okay so this is my terminal so i will be installing Glaze window manager. Till it is installing, let's go back to its uh, what it says. We need to install this. Okay, something that you know you or add a feature of the default key binding. So it has a cheat sheet to use a default key binding. Maybe we will uh, look into this. Okay, so these are the modifying windows, resize windows. Okay, so we can configure using YAML files. So this is the command to configure YAML file. It is generated at this location. Okay. Okay, so it has started a setup process. So I will be stopping my video for now and we will resume once uh, it is installed on my system. Okay, so it is installed successfully. Okay. Let me restart my Windows terminal. Let me restart my terminal and let's see. Yeah, so after restarting my terminal, it has started uh, working. And if you see here, there is the uh, one bar as well. So let us try to configure this let me close this first let me say windows terminal okay so if i'm closing and starting my windows terminal it is uh, auto tiling okay and if i want to move this to Save or save below. Yeah. So using the keyboard, Alt, Shift, and arrow keys, I'm able to switch my windows. I think we can move to another workspace using Alt, Shift, or maybe four. Yeah. So I've switched to another workspace, which is workspace 4 so my terminal is now on workspace 4 let me move back to workspace 2 okay let me close this one and again move back to uh, i will move vs code to workspace maybe 3 okay if i move to second workspace move to third workspace cool so you can see that I'm able to switch my uh, 
workspaces using the alt followed by the number like if i want to go to workspace 3 i will click on alt plus 3 so let me close this again and go back to my workspace 2 now let's see or check uh, this file so let me try to open this let me copy this command and i will be again opening my terminal So let me do one thing. Let me open this using the VS code. So I've opened my configuration and uh, inner gap. Let me adjust my gap. Right, bottom left. Top is 60. I will make this as well. I will make this to 20 again. And inner cap, oh, I will make it to 10. I have saved this. Now go, let me go back to the documentation. Uh, how to reload? All shift R is going to reload my uh, Glaze window tiling manager. So I think it has done okay. Okay, so. From top, I think my bar is uh, hidden. So let me again increase my uh, top cap. So let me make it to maybe 40. Let me refresh it. Control, sorry, Alt, Shift, R. So it is okay. This is my bar. Okay. Now I will also decrease my right bottom and left all shift r to reload it okay so now let me go back to my first workspace yeah this looks better to me okay so the gap is now very less i don't want much gap so i've reduced uh, that Another thing is to, uh, you know, uh, I want it to start when I am starting my window. So we saw that there was a question on pack, right? Okay. Create a shortcut for the executable by right clicking on the Glaze WM executable. Okay. Let me search the Glaze WM in file location. So here I have my executable put the shortcut in your startup folder let me close this this is my shortcut uh, by entering shell startup in the top bar in the okay so let me click shell followed by start up let me copy this shortcut Maybe in a new tab, let me open it. This cell start top. Okay. Yeah. So let me paste my shortcut. So Glaze window manager is there. I don't want to start my Olama. By default, let me move this. Let uh, send to not be here. Okay. So now I have. Uh, configure this now another tool i will use to start my or launch or start my application for that i will be using a tool called power toys so let me install that from microsoft uh, microsoft store so let me open the microsoft store
Okay, search for power toys. Power toys. Okay, so let me install this. Seeing the transparency of the video, let me see what happens if I enable the transparency. Control S, let me reload. Alt Shift R to reload. Okay. So this has actually started the transparency. If I let me increase this to 98%. Yeah, this looks better. Okay, so now it is installed, I think. Yeah. So my wind uh, will Microsoft Power Toys is installed. So there is basically a launcher. Yeah, this is uh, Windows Alt Space. Windows Alt Space. Let me start typing. The action book launcher. Let me see why it is not starting. Maybe let me change it to some other key. Okay, so let me see. Okay. Okay, let me now try to start. All these seems to be mapped to some other key. Let me check the key bindings. Just let me search for it. Alt plus T. Focus. Okay, this is for focus. So let me, I will be commenting these two for now. Since I'm using all D for my Oh, they all set R to reload. Try to search. Okay. We first close this. I want to start it in a floating window. So let me close this. So I'm stopping the video for now. I will just explore some of the things of power, power toys and maybe we will re resume again. Yeah, guys, welcome back. Okay, guys, so I got, uh, I found the issue. So actually I was trying to launch uh, the command palette, if you see here. Okay, so I was trying to launch the command palette uh, in a pop-up, but uh, Actually, this uh, doesn't work like that. So for searching your applications, uh, there is another tool. Okay. So it is Alt plus space is going to launch uh, the tool. So if I want to use anything, I want to open any application like Google Chrome, I can use it from here and it is going to auto align. So this was the Alt space. Actually, uh, the launcher, I was not able to find the shortcut, but uh, on exploring the documentation of Power Toys, I found out that Alt Space is going to start your launcher to search any application. Okay. Now I think uh, we have installed uh, Glaze Window Manager. Okay. So you can see here I have the workspaces. I can switch to workspaces using the mouse as well, plus the Alt. Alt and uh, the number like Alt plus four is going to move to our course work the workspace. Alt plus two is going to move to the four uh, second workspace. Let me go back to the configuration. Also, there is one change I have done. So if you see Alt plus Q, so this close focus window. So actually, this was Alt plus Shift plus Q but I have changed it to Alt Q. 
So if we want to see how it works, so suppose this is my window that is open. Maybe let me open one more uh, window or application. So let me open Google Chrome. So these two are open. Now I want to close Google Chrome. So I can just press Alt plus Q to close it. And if I want to close the VS Code, I can again press Alt plus Q. So uh, I think uh, this looks quite cool to have a window manager or tiling window manager on uh, Windows machine. Okay. So, so thanks all and bye bye.